We are in Brooklyn, uh, in New York, in my house, <laughs> in my nice. apartment. Nice. Because that's kind of how you guys met, because we were both going to, uh, to college, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we because both went to, to NYU, and we were in the same class at NYU, yeah. School of Art was, wasn't it? Yeah, it at was, Tisch. Yeah. Acting okay. school. <laughs> Acting school, I see. Yeah. Curveball. <laughs> exactly. I mean, were you, were you both kind of pursuing acting and kind of segued into music? Yeah, of it kind of like naturally happened. We were like both like songwriters and yeah. We had been studying acting. Uh, Kelly was like a little bit more serious of a songwriter than me. And I like kind of discovered uh, how much I loved it, like t towards the end of college. Um, and then uh, after college, we we were probably like, yeah, like we, we like knew that we clicked like towards the end of college and, and we're sharing songs and stuff together and, and kind of like naturally started the band um just by like playing songs because we like love to do that and we were just like finding anywhere that we could perform these like songs that we had written together or like arranged together that we'd written before uh and then slowly just started to like build a band and perform at like bigger and bigger spots because i imagine that's so that's that that can be kind of difficult you know find that collaborative um cohesiveness yeah mm -hmm. what makes a good team hmm I think like having like a uh I, I think just like being I think we have similar writing like brains like the way that we write is similar where we'll like have a uh idea we're very we're both very like lyrically driven and like melodically driven um and i think that we think about similar themes when we're writing um and i also think that we both have like uh similar strengths but also different strengths uh where uh it's it I think that with the strengths that the two of us have, it makes it really easy to edit with each other where like yeah. we can bounce ideas off of each other. And like, we have a lot of trust so that if like Kelly says, this is a good idea or this is a bad idea. I can really trust her because our tastes are similar. Yeah. Um, so I think it's like a combination of like taste, uh, like open mindedness yeah. uh, and like, just like willingness to like kind of edit and like not hold on too tightly to things, I guess. Or if you want to speak more on that, Kelly. No, I think I think you got it. <laughs> because I imagine after maybe five or six years, you know, it has it become easier to kind of uh, to have that chemistry. I definitely think over time we have like a a very developed shorthand and like can pretty quickly communicate if we're writing we also do like writing sessions with other people and a lot of the time we'll be like oh yeah this uh yeah uh and then we'll be like yes we both agree <laughs> <Yeah>. that <laughs> so i think it definitely uh it definitely gets easier to kind of like understand where that what the other person might mm -hmm. be like thinking or like identify where you're like sometimes there'll be something that we like half wrote in the past or like a, an idea that we half did or like started that then in the future we'll both be like super excited about continuing that or like following down a path where we're like oh we haven't done this type of thing yet so like we're both equally like mm -hmm. know that we're excited to do that or yeah, yeah. it's also super interesting like to work with someone for so long because I think like 
we've both changed so much over time yeah. and our tastes yep. have changed and like the music we listen to has changed um and we've both stayed really close throughout all of it and i think that like it's very uh it's a cool experiment to be like what does our music sound like like yeah. as we get older and as the things we listen to change and like we I mean, luckily, I think that like the like root of the Daisy the Great sound is literally just the two of our voices together. So everything around that can be we can experiment with a lot of different things yeah. and it'll still sound like us um, because it, it, it we we stay we've stayed pretty true to having like the double lead vocal. Um, so it's really fun to like have that kind of be the only constant and like be Get able to play, to play with yeah. a lot of different information and stuff so that's been really cool that's great because I, I i do love the sound of both of your voices together you know that's so special you know it's that's that's thank you yeah. great sound and i mean so much of your stuff is so personal and it comes from you know kind of growing up you know kind of you know uh, being wistful of your past but you know still venturing on you know yeah yeah and I think, you know, especially, what was it? Uh, what did I, I was listening to Glitter before, you know, and, and it's nice. I mean, it's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it, Thank you. I think, you know, as you get a little bit older, you know, like you've been doing this for a while, you know, are you still kind of wistful of the past or, or are you kind of, you know, I don't know, embracing, you know, what's coming up? I think both. I, I feel like we're kind of just the types to always be uh, putting things into perspective, like based yeah. on your whole yeah. life. So I feel like even if it's something that we're facing now, I feel like we're always kind of just aware of who we have been and like yeah. aware of the changes. Yeah, a lot uh, of our songs are about like confronting change. Yeah, not necessarily like nostalgic for the past but just kind of like interested in it and like how you're growing and what that means and how you're changing examining yourself a lot of the time we'll also say like we'll kind of realize after working on a song for a long time like oh wow this is actually almost like an older self reflecting on like the same type of idea that is like this old other old song will be like oh this song feels like a grown like more grown version of like what we were talking about mm -hmm. in this past song <laughs> and like now we have different influences and different like awareness that is leading us to to like need to say something different about that yeah which is cool it's also interesting because i think that like when we explore these ideas uh there's I mean, there's a lot that goes into like making music and stuff, obviously, that like sometimes like we'll write a song and then release it like three or four years later. And I think that it's uh, it's kind of nice to see how a song like ages, like the way that you've written it. And like a lot of times I'm like, wow, this song that like we wrote, like actually applies to me now more than it did yeah. when I wrote it. Right. Yeah. yeah, where like <laughs> I, I think it happens more with the more uh metaphorical songs like the songs that have like a really strong metaphor i'll be like wow like i did I, this like song that i wrote like three years ago is actually really good advice for me now and i'm like yeah. glad that i i don't know i think that like your like younger brain is like smarter than you think sometimes <laughs> and uh can help like yeah definitely give your like future self some advice that's an interesting point I'm going to get philosophical with you. <laughs> <laughs> what would what would your younger self tell your older self? You know, what advice would he give? You know, mm. to you in the future. Um, I think that. Well, you may have another. Obviously, no, you no, may no, have no. another idea, but I feel like the thing that I take from it I don't I, I wouldn't say that our songs necessarily like can give advice but I think that sometimes I feel like I'm past a feeling like I'm older than that feeling and then I'll listen to a song like 
company, for example, as like one of the songs on our on our first uh, full length that like we didn't play for a really long time and then we started playing again. And I think once we started playing it again, we we were just listening to it and you almost like have compassion for your whole self in that time. You're like, oh, I I see myself then uh, and like, I understand that now. And so I can use kind of that wisdom of like getting, getting to like look at yourself from the future almost to apply to whatever's currently going on. If you feel similarly now, or if you are, you know, going through something like that, it kind of, it's just interesting to have access to mm -hmm. something that you said earlier. <laughs> Cause you can say yeah. like, oh, I still feel like that. Or like, maybe I feel like that, but I have learned these other things that help me through like right. feeling that way. Well, or... it's similar to like reading an old journal, yeah. right? Like it's like you, you like open up an old journal and you're like, okay, this isn't like, you're like going through like, let's say a heartbreak and you're like, oh wow, like my heart is broken. Like I journaling, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, you like find a journal from like three years ago and like, you're like, you can like really see, it, it might be like different language, but you can really like, feel that same feeling and like see it like from a previous heartbreak and like kind of compare the two and be like wow like obviously experience is different but yeah. but, but the like root of the feeling is the same um so it, it's just a yeah like it's it's hopeful to be like i got through that and like made it to the point where it even happened again. And like, you, you notice like the cyclical nature of living. Right. Um, <laughs> and it's almost like your past version of yourself is like there to, you know, connect. Yeah. To say that you're, you're okay. And it's also <laughs> like, like you're, you look back at it and you're like, honestly, like, thank God I'm like, 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 like thank yeah. God I'm different than uh, I was back then. And like, not in that same relationship or whatever it was that you were like, in because you're like because i am who i am now and like that had to happen and i think that like younger self to i don't know this isn't i feel like we left the question of what would your you <laughs> self... fine to do fine <laughs> we're just interested in the idea <laughs> uh, but i think my younger self would tell my older self like that you're still young <laughs> Uh, yes. yeah, 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 or just like to like keep like staying curious and um, yeah. doing things yeah. that like I don't know. I think that like there was a lot that we did and made when we were younger because we didn't really know how to do a lot of stuff. So the way that we made music was very like experimental and kind of just like whatever we could like get our hands on or like kind of do and I think that the only, the thing I would try to take from that is like to keep figuring out ways to do that even when you do have more tools and you do have more information like how can you still kind of create in a way where you are like making up ways of how to use the tools instead of using them the way that like you think you're supposed to use them it's great you're doing great I, <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering um, who are you listening to? Because I know you probably listen to other musicians and other uh, artists. Totally. Yeah. Who are your influences and who are you listening to currently? Some of our influences that we share, I would say, are like, and who I, I kind of always also listen to throughout, uh, throughout you know, the years. I, I, I always like return to some old faves, but I would say uh fiona apple definitely i would i would listen to a lot of like sufjan stevens and uh like fleet boxes growing up was a huge oh, influence yeah. i was very deep in the harmony <laughs> harmony <laughs> <laughs> um and like laura marlin growing up as well yeah. uh and also like honestly musicals i i was very into a lot of like folk rock musicals when i was growing up um and those just like big like chunky good 
harmonies were, mm-hmm. you know, that was, I loved it. Um, oh, so, yeah. I've been listening to, I'm just looking at my phone. Yeah, sorry. me too. I'm looking, okay, I, I have been listening to Wet Leg, mm-hmm. um, Avril Lavigne. <laughs> of course. Uh, I've been listening to Orla Gartland. Nice. And who I listened to Orla Gartland growing up. Like I listened to Orla Gartland on YouTube when I was growing up. So now I'm like, wow, I'm so amazed that like, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, that they're yeah. doing so great. <laughs> I've been listening to uh, Porch's most recent album, uh, the uh, – a Leonard Cohen, uh, Remy Wolf. Wow. Uh, my friend made me this like hyper pop yeah. playlist. I've been listening to it with some hyper pop recently, like uh, Underscores, Jockstrap, uh, Jockstrap. Uh, this artist, You Wait. I really, they only have a few songs out, but I really like their music. Uh, a lot of different stuff i, I try to Lee listen Frost to like this really really good yeah i listen to a lot of different types of music um, yeah i've been listening to stevie wonder okay. uh Saba bodega ethel kane porter robinson oh yeah you got a lot going on depending on <laughs> what what <laughs> you need to hear yeah. you know it's a great taste <laughs> <laughs> And I know you had a collaboration with somebody who was at Saturday in the Park last year, AJR. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so what were they like to collaborate with? AJR was awesome to collaborate with. We we ended up uh, being able to create like a new version of one of our songs. Right. Uh, the record player song is the original. And we created this song record player with them. That was super fun to, to put together. And then we we're very fortunate to be able to uh, hop on tour with them last year. So we also played that song uh, in like, you know, giant, they're like so big. It was like the biggest stages we've ever seen. And it was very crazy, Um, (laughs) but very amazing. Uh, And we we felt super lucky to be able to, to see everyone on those shows. Yeah, it was really fun. Well, well, final question. I, I mean, you seem like a pretty good team, but if there if there was a disagreement, who would win the the argument? Would it be mm. Nina or would it be you, Kelly? It depends on what it's about. I think it would be me. I think it would be me because Kelly would let me win. Oh. I think that it really depends on what it would be about. <laughs> okay, you go, you go. You well, go? I just think... I think that most of the time, if it's a disagreement about a music thing, it will come down. If it's like, really, we can't agree, it would come down to whoever like started the song, like whoever, True, yeah. whoever's like baby the song was. Cause a lot of the time we'll be like, oh, I started this and it's not finished, but like, this is my idea. And yeah. then I think the, the end thing will rest with whoever was like, this was my, Thing and I feel really strongly about it because like that's just what it's supposed to be and it can't really be anything other than that so I feel like we are also yeah. good at we don't really argue yeah we this it doesn't really happen <laughs> but that's I good. think if there's something where we're like deciding between two things it will probably go to the person that's like yeah I feel like this is my like soul that is on the line and I really need to say the right <laughs> thing <laughs> So then we'll be like, that's fine. But that's I think if it's fine. like something petty, I will win because I Kelly's the bigger answer. person <laughs> and I'm pettier. <laughs> Is she right, Kelly? <laughs> I guess. I mean, or, I don't know. What do you think? I can't, the thing is, I can't like imagine what this is. So I think- Yeah, what's the fight? You yeah, have to give us you the need fight to tell us we'll tell you who wins. Well, I was thinking more in terms of songs. So I guess, yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we were pretty like respectful of it. Like we know when the song is about someone else's life. Cause like, yeah. you know, we write songs truthfully and like, we're like, usually if we're right, if I'm like, I wrote this, like I wrote this chunk of words. This right. song is about this thing that happened to me. Right. We were like, okay let's talk about that yeah. let's like write the song about that and and like it's like if yeah 
if we're like, I don't want that to be what this is, then it's like, great, then <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> but this has been fun. You guys are great. I'm really, Thank you. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in Sioux City for Saturday in the park. And yeah, we're so, so excited. excited. Thank you. <laughs> it's coming up. Bye. <laughs>